Proto page, P R O T O P A G E. And it's free. You just make an account with them. And then I did one for the guys at work. Hey guys, I'm live on Kilroy79763 on Twitch. Okay. So I basically just captured the second display and I'm putting it up there. And of course, we're working, you know, we're doing our own thing here and we're probably, I'm probably getting an echo is my guess. Because no, no. Oh, so there's a bell. Really? Yep. So, because I was going to say probably going through Google Hangouts and, and, uh, because I can't hear the other one. So, so anyway, Paul. I made this one for work. So, I made this one for work. Yeah, yeah, and it's even, the, the, it's even, that does sound workable. It sounded kind of distorted over well, here. Well, yeah, because I had it up real high, and then it oh. started to echo at the same time. So, anyway, yeah, so you just stick these widgets in here and go and fill them in. And, and then, then uh, here on your, on your page? On your page, yeah. On your page. So you just um, like I've even got stuff for for my PLC for work and just the stuff that's all on the same IP network that I run all my work equipment on. So I can just directly connect to it if I want. So it's kind of cool. Anyway, cool. back to the show. The show. <laughs> it's now turned into the Kilroy seven nine seven six three show. I see. Uh, I see. I'm, I'm not looking at your channel over there, Al. Hours of practice with minutes. Hours of practice. So, Jim, if I'm just going online looking for you, that'll come up with your proto page. If I googled your name, I'm not understanding the point of it then. I don't know. Oh, you you uh, go there, or like you, you have it bookmarked as your home page, or like Google Chrome or whatever, right? And that's what comes up when you when you open Chrome. Oh, so I get that. Stuff, yeah, so you just use that for all okay. the common stuff. Here. At least I don't. Hey, Chris Nealon's oh. over there. Hello, Chris. <laughs> We're just messing around, man. Hey, Al, I watched that series you told me about, Better Than Us. Yeah. See, all 16 episodes, I kind of... What'd you... What uh, you froze, uh, I did. Yeah. yeah, it froze. What, what'd you say? We had a very slow week at work, so oh. I binged it all in yeah. one week. What, what, I mean, was it, like, at the end, you know, it's like, ooh. Yeah, yeah the end caught me off guard. Yeah. But what I had a hard time getting over was the dubbing from Russian. Right, right. But you know, to me though, I, I know what you're saying. After a while, my brain started thinking in yeah. Rushki, you know. Yeah. And the other question is, why were they all American cars? I don't know. I don't know. Because yes, sir, and all the cars were American. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's a mystery to me. It is. We it got was, five series, we got five people watching us, I guys. <laughs> oh really? Do yeah. Any of them want in? <laughs> No, um, on Al's Twitch channel. Yeah. Oh, on his Twitch channel. Oh, okay. I don't know who they are. Right. But... Oh, so we got to be careful who we talk about because we don't know who they are. Correct. Yeah, yeah. now I'm going to have to open yeah. Twitch. Yeah. 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 I, I, I know, I know Chris, Chris and... Nealon is one of them, <laughs> but I can't see the rest. That's weird. That. That's weird. It says there's four. I guess they're just watching, you know, behind the scenes or, or you know, incognito or we can't. Trying to get logged in. We can't, we can't see, see the are. chat over there, Al. Do I? Is that, you can't either. Let me open this up here. Oh, yeah, there I see the, the yeah. chat. Yeah, it's there. It is. I don't have it. I don't have it aligned well. And you're looking at it. There, there. That that should have fixed it. Full screen now. Log in. When I made it full screen, then it's, it's a frozen oh. screen. Oh, it must be on your end because mine's see, is mine full screen. Let's see. And there's Brenda G's design. Howdy, Brenda. How are you doing? I finally got logged in there. I just went full screen and it's working. So it might be might be Twitch. Might be. I don't know. But I don't I don't see anybody else. 
In fact, it didn't even show Brenda G for some reason. In, in the well, chat. I full screen, it showed everybody, but then it froze up on me over there. Yeah. I mean, and I don't see, it. and I don't see any buffering or anything, Paul. I just uh, refreshed the screen here. And are you doing this now through OBS? You say? Yeah, I'm doing this through OBS exactly. And huh? See, yeah, I would think you could do the same thing. There. Just, just stream to, just take your. Take your YouTube stream key, stick it in OBS, right? Okay, and then stream. But now, I mean, you, what are you you using a video on your on your scenes? What well, are you calling it? Yeah, I, I'm you. I'm doing my my second display is what I'm doing. I just th that's what's over here. Okay, uh, I could probably get a little more fancy and and get the window or the web page that it's at. Also, so I mean, you could do it both ways because I have done it both ways, and that way you get rid of you get rid of my browser uh, up at the top, uh, uh, right there. See, see my browser right there at the top. It no. gets rid of that. No, okay. I don't see your browser at the top of nothing. Well, <laughs> it's there, but but the point is, is you can either you can either grab the second display, which everything I'm seeing on the second display is, what, is what's being transmitted. I can make it bigger to cut that top right. piece off. Or you can also go in there and capture a window or, or a web page or something like that, and it will also also put it up there, and it it'll be full screen. Then it won't it won't be uh, it won't I'll have the header. Well, I may have to play with that a yeah, little bit yeah. and see what I can do. Yeah. Honestly, that's what I've been saying the whole time, but I happened to stumble into this this uh, Google Hangout. I thought it looks live. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless they're going to do away with it, I, I I don't know. I don't know. If it just if it eventually. Well, they, they've away. done away with it on YouTube as far as you being able to just pull up Hangouts and add people. See, I think yeah, I think it's the integration of it. It's not that Google. Well, I don't know. I saw Google Hangouts went away. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, what, yeah what? you can still use Hangouts with. Hey, YouTube. friends! You just can't have panelists. Right, right. We're just playing around, friends. Um, I found a, a, a Google Hangout. This is the after show from Simply Wooden Creations. Uh, and and what, what I did, or, or Let's Talk Shop with Russ on YouTube, what I did is I took I took and just captured my second display in a Google Hangout. And that's that's what you're seeing, friends. So, does that make sense? Yes. Lady, Lady Frenzy, Wicked Makes Truth sense. is a... Is a bistitual crafter, I believe, is the way she puts it. Bistitual. Bistitual, yes. Is that the word of the day? I, I guess, lady. <laughs> is it the drinking <laughs> word? Because that's what it really I, is. It works for me. Um, um, friends, yeah, put it well. Hell, okay. I'm, I'm learning something I'm still. I learn something every day, friends. Every day. <laughs> there doesn't. There doesn't go a day go by that I forget something that I learn again, too, by the way. I learn something every day, too, but usually I need bail money for it. Yeah. <laughs> Friends, if you haven't seen uh, Brenda G's series, um, and that's why I need bail money, uh, you ought to go to her, her YouTube channel. Um, let, me, let me find it here, and I'll post it. Um, let's see. Anytime I type YouTube, anytime I type YouTube, Brenda G's channel, I'm kidding you not, comes up. Um, let's see, I'm going to post that over here for you, friends. Go go check her out. Really nice uh, gal. And uh, Orange is the new black. And orange is the new black. There you go. There you go. Careful, that's copyrighted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's a, she, says, she says, nope, I am now a Jane of all trades. She says uh, she's a tri stitual fiber artist. Tri stitual. Tri stitual. Yeah. yeah. Drink another beer, Chris, and think about it. <laughs> hey, there's Chris. I've been here. Oh, Chris Neal is out there. Right, Chris. Uh, and and Chris you're right. Neal. That is. That is. You know, after all that, all that advice she gave, <laughs> she goes to needing bail money now. Imagine that. <laughs> Could you do us a favor if you're out there in Twitch and just say hi or something so we know who's there? Because uh, we have to make sure we don't say something about somebody. That <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so are you out there? Are you out there? I'm yeah. not going to. So you can, I'm, you I'm can not... go over to the little thing on the right and click on it. Yeah. And it tells everybody that's out there. Yeah, there's, there's like a. Oh, that's right. Two, I've been two, on Twitch for so long. Two silhouettes yeah. up in the upper right hand corner, users in chat. We know you're right. out there. We're not going to call you out. You know what's funny is I don't see any bots at all. I don't see electrical skateboard, electrical longboard. I don't see any of those. How about, how about Nightbot? Nope. Well, Nightbot is is mine. That that's that's what I've got tied in. Nightbot and uh, Commander Root. Yeah. Was, yeah. There's there's Commander Root. I take that back. I take that back. Um, I see Stream Elements, which is mine, and Nightbot is mine also. But uh, yeah, there there's Commander Root. So I take that back. Now, what does a bot do in Twitch? Um, it's just a, a reaction script, whether it's a program that's that's here locally or over the website. Because like when you put a command like like exclamation mark sr, it goes okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna interpret what command line uh, or what sr or exclamation mark sr is, and it goes over to like for instance Nightbot to its website and says, oh yeah, every time I see this, I'm gonna I'm gonna spit back into the chat. Um, a song request, or, or oh, okay. put it in the put it in the uh, in the queue in that case, or or like for instance, you can do an uptime if if you do if you do an exclamation uptime, and it shows you how long we've been streaming, and see both Nightbot and Stream Elements replied back because I've got the same command for for both of those bots. Yeah, um, and the one I like is this one. I think it's this. I think it's weather. It might be temp. It might be temp. Yeah, let's see. Is it temp or is it temperature? But see, you guys oh, like a lot of keyboard time. There you go. There you go. <laughs> that one says weather for Odessa conditions are partly cloudy with a temperature of 83 degrees, 28 uh, degrees centigrade. The wind is blowing from the southeast at 14 kilometers per hour and nothing. And at which my wife knows something about what? Oh wait, that was Chris Nealon putting a comment in there. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I don't want to in intrude, but this is cool. Assembling my new Alaskan chainsaw mill. Oh, cool. Um, oh, show yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey. I missed. Uh, I missed the uh, show last week. Hey, hey, Chris, do you want me to drop you a link? Can we? Yeah. Could you show us? You that? bet. Let me. Let me do that, Chris. You. you yeah, can you show us? Let me, let me go over to Facebook, Chris. And I'll drop it there. Excuse me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put this hangout link on that proto page thing. Oh, see? See? This this is what? 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 Oh, it's gone now. Look. Let's see, Chris. What's that the link? Chris Nealon. Is there? No, I just moved the screen over to the other monitor. Let's see. Let's see. That's that's. I can put the, I can put the link over in the chat if you want. That's the hangout we're in, right, uh, Chris? Oh, did you did you put it out there? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. I, I was oh. just texting my wife saying we should start a late night fire out in the patio. And it started raining, literally. Oh, my as God. I hit literally. <laughs> as you, hit I hit the wrong, sand, you hit the wrong key then. I, I know. As it's I hit not, sand, I hit the raindrops coming down. It's control R. It's control S. You exactly. hit the rain key. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I think I'm going to cut out of here. I will uh, see everyone later. Okay, Every Paul. party has a poop. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody has to go first. Key, so, sorry, key, key the, the poop emoji. Here. Yeah, now, now uh, Jim can go back to playing with that little thing he's got there. Oh yeah, I can. Yeah. No, I'll I'll tell him to turn it off. Put it okay. away. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, Chris. Uh, it, will it work on the iPad? I don't know. Give it a try. Probably not. Uh, probably not. Twitch, Twitch works fine on iPad. Yeah. No, but the the Google Hangout, I think, is what he's saying. It's uh, true. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Anything okay. Apple can make money off of, they'll throw on their iPad. Catch your okay, so, okay, see you. Bye-bye, Paul. So, Bye, Paul. So last, uh, week, last week for work, 
I went to Tulsa and went to a company that wanted to make sure nobody could steal an iPad leaving the building. So they have these uh, turnstile things that they've got to walk through. So we put all uh, UHF type. Uh, hey, it papers. does work. So we put the tags on the iPad. This guy said he only pays 200 bucks a piece for his iPads. And another 20 bucks for an OtterBox cover for him. Wow. Where's he getting that? Because OtterBoxes are like, what, 80 for an iPad? My my OtterBox cost half what my phone did, which was 60 My phone's a cheap phone. Seriously. Seriously. $60 for this. So. Yeah, but he's, he's only paying 200 bucks a piece for an iPad. I know. And they're like, what, 500 normally? They're like... Twelve. Yeah, getting, are they that much? Well, it's a pretty big company. I mean, they're they're like one of the largest companies in the country. And they're wow. buying in volume. Wow. Well, he's only got two hundred of them in the plant. So to they drop to drop the price from you know twelve to fifteen hundred bucks a piece down to uh, that is quite a discount. Two hundred. Yeah. yeah. For well, yeah, it's for business use, but still. Yeah. What uh, what OS do they have on them? What's that? I don't know. Okay, because I mean, I wonder I if it's an old on. iOS or an older iPad, an iPad maybe. Or... So are you ready to show us, Chris? Are, are you ready to show us, Chris? All right, Chris, fire that thing up. Um, I just found where there's Apple iPad Airs for one hundred and twenty nine ninety nine at Walmart. Oh my God! Wow. iPad? You're there. Um, that's what it says. Apple iPad Air with Wi-Fi, 16 gigabytes in space gray for $129.99 at Walmart. I wonder, I wonder if I can click on Chris and it becomes, I think I'm here. Yeah. I just yeah, click on you. No, yeah. Yeah. You have to you have to talk and we have to be quiet. This is all new to me. Well it honestly it's it's all new to us too. We all have to do it the first time. Yes. Yep. That's what she here's, said. Here's yeah, an Apple iPad. First. Here's an Apple iPad yeah. 3 with 32 gigabytes with Wi-Fi for 95 bucks at Walmart. An, an iPad wow. 3? Yeah. Yeah. What's what's yeah. Apple iPad up to now? 11? No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I don't know. Okay. Oh yeah. Chris. Go ahead and talk while you say this so it highlights it. So, so that's the picture of the assembled chainsaw mill. Is this the right. same one that, that, that was on the show the last week? Yeah. It's the a knockoff. A knockoff. It's a knockoff. So so the best part about it was the instructions. Oh boy. This is a this is the <laughs> these are the instructions. Oi they <laughs> That helped a lot. It looks like a model wow. kit. <laughs> yeah. like, I've got that in front of me. Right. Yeah, piece of cake. But it, it, oh, it yeah. did work eventually. Sweet. Yes. And uh, I had some logs dropped off in my house last week that are 32 inches in diameter. And uh, my 20 inch pooling wouldn't do that. Uh oh. So. My wife isn't too happy that they're in the front yard. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> but when I, when I make that nice coffee table, she'll 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 get over that. Get that out of the way. Most of them are going to be uh, turning blanks. Oh, like those down there. Oh, neat. Let me Which is scattered all over my basement floor. <laughs> but uh, that's what we're doing. See, I got to keep the wife happy by when I close the shop door, you can look at the front of the house and you wouldn't know there's a shop here. There's I nothing know. in the driveway, nothing beside the garage, everything's no. inside. So <laughs> usually it's inside here too, but those are just too big to put inside. I know, but if I start leaving stuff out, a lot of the deals are going to come to a real fast end. So <laughs> yeah, I, I guarantee her these will be gone by tomorrow afternoon. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, I, think I, I think I lied. What's it what's that joke? I'll get it done. You don't have to keep reminding me every two years. 
Exactly. It would have been done. To, it would have been done today, but she maybe closed the pool instead. Ooh. Ah, it's kind of early. We're gonna get a heat wave still. That's all right. My electric bill is six hundred bucks. Yikes. <laughs> this will bring it back down to three hundred. Mine goes up there around Christmas time from all the Christmas lights on the house. So, I, I feel your pain. <laughs> I have a neighbor who rewired his house just for his Christmas lights display. He went from 60 amp to 200 amp just for Christmas lights. That's my he, goal. Wow. He used to, um, when he turned it on, he would blow the whole house fumes. And yep. the whole thing. <laughs> I'm at 120 now. I want to go to 220 and have a separate circuit just for the outside lights of Christmas. Hey, hey, Chris, what was the guy's name, last name? Griswold? No, yeah. no. Really? <laughs> hey, let's that not knock. Let's not it was knock. Actually Mark, wasn't Mark is our god. <laughs> yeah, actually, Mark Griswold is our god. The first year you had to set up, from the time it came out, the whole house went dark. <laughs> hey, honey, hey, honey, hey, honey watch this. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. In yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The funny thing is, when we first moved onto this street, nobody decorated. And I came from a family of Christmas decorations. The nerdiest, the tackiest, the better. Well, yeah. And I, and I would use inflatables. I put lights up, I build my own displays, things like that. Now, pretty much all the street decorates. Yeah. See what you did. Christmas shame. Yeah, well, Christmas shame. I still have. This, this I, I still have a, lights. A lighting company. I still have lights outside from four years ago that, that honestly I need to take that down because they're starting to disintegrate and break. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time to change them. You guys I got last idea. year. Last year I got these ones. They're they're LEDs and they're called app lights. You could change the the blinking pattern and the colors from your phone. Nice. I love them. Nice. And I try to convince my wife we should just leave them up year round. Yeah. That way I don't have to go back up on the roof again. Um, well, that, and that way I can display red, white, and blue for the Fourth of July. Red for Valentine's yeah, Day. There you go. St. Patrick's Day. She wasn't it, buying it. You're in a barrel in the basement right now. I'm with you on that one, Chris. Because as you know, I've mentioned this before. I, I've seen you up on the roof, and man, good job. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got to say. One of my elderly, more elderly neighbors doesn't like seeing me up there. He's a retired Marine. He comes over and helps me to get me off the roof as <laughs> fast as possible. So, <laughs> there you go. So, hey, isn't it? I got isn't, a 30-foot ladder today in my gutters today. Isn't the hard so part? I pay for that. <laughs> isn't the hard part getting up? The easy part's getting down? No, that's the easy part. Yeah. Let gravity do the work. Yeah. <laughs> so, I get lucky, though. I have a... Second floor with a porch window out onto the roof of the porch. So I climb up there, then around the side and up onto the peak. Yeah. So, hey, hey yeah. folks, for those that don't know, we were just farting around. We're in a Google Hangout. Google Hangouts is supposed to have gone away, I guess. And I, I got this idea. I wonder if I can open up this Google Hangout and stream it. And thus, that is why we're streaming right now. Um, I noticed that there's seven out there, which is... Something. I mean, I guess it's all of us plus two more, right? Yeah. <laughs> two bars. So, but uh, but I s- this can use it as long as it exists. Yeah, I see some other names out there that might be bots, might not be bots, but, but probably are. So, Al, I, I was making a comment on my shirt. Oh, ooh, Marvel <laughs> Universe, huh? I see Spidey, uh, Hulk, and I, I, I don't know the other two. I don't either. Okay, well, at least I don't feel bad. Do, do, do you know? I think the last one is is this one. Wow. Hey, do it just for fun, okay? Always. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I was thinking when you put that up, Al, earlier, mm-hmm. some night we got to plan this. We all get a little doll or something like that. And just when Russell goes live, we all pop it up in front of the camera. That's, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I had fear. I tell them what we're doing. I had it's fear. Just, what he done is get puppets and then just hold them up in front and and, 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 and I have yeah. I have thought about that, guys. I, I have thought about. It. I really like. Uh, uh, what are they called that that you use? I guess I guess they're no Muppets. I like Muppets. Muppets, yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, you hold the Muppets. Yes. That that type of style of puppet, you know. Hi, how are Kermit the Frog here? Hey. For Sesame Street News. Hey, Ernie. Hey, Ernie. How come? How come we're fifty years old, Ernie, and we still? Sleep in the same bedroom, Ernie. Um, <laughs> you might. I, I, say, I love the original Muppet Show. Sleep in the sleep in same bedroom. You do. Hey, you that. And you know, guys. You know, guys. What this is is this is the top. This is the top of of a drink can. Or a bottle, or whatever you want to call it. This is actually that is the biggest right? koozie I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. See, that's what it is. It's on feet, everything. Yeah. My type of koozie, and it's got a hole right there for a straw. Put, nice. Put my favorite beverage in here, and did you three bit three D print that? No, th these are. I don't know the company that put them out. Let me see if it says it on here. Um. But it, it's like Taco Villa or or Burger King or I don't know. I had a friend who had every Happy Wheel toy from day one to they stopped. I'm sorry, what? So I had a buddy of mine that had every Happy Meal toy from McDonald's from day one until they stopped doing it. Really? Well, actually, actually, until he passed away. It's probably worth a fortune. Oh, this says Pepsi. Oh, here it is. Here, here it is. Here it is. Yeah. Taco Taco Bill. How come how come I'm not? I thought I put it to where I, everybody that talked, it's still on Chris. Not that there's a problem with Chris, but I can see you well. I saw that Chris. We see you. Now, yours must be locked on because when Chris was talking, I locked on him. Gotcha, gotcha. I'll, I'll okay. put, I'll put it back. Yeah, but see, it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, and actually here, I don't know if it is that way there too, but Kentucky Fried Chicken and Taco Bell, we have a combined Kentucky Fried Chicken and Taco Bell. Anyway, yeah, let, me take, like let me take it off. Yeah, maybe it's that thing where the Google Hangout. See, now I see Jim up there. I see you. Well, if somebody else talks, yeah, I'll yeah, see them. Yeah, and you just change, yeah. See? But I don't ever see myself when I talk. That's that's the thing. Yeah, now I think about it, I don't see me either. Yeah, yeah. But you're still there. I still see you there, and I'm still talking, and I still haven't come up. So I think we're going to add ask for a, a refund on this Google Hangout, guys. Yeah, because really. see, <laughs> it, has, it hasn't changed back. You said junk. Yeah, and see, it just it just changed for Jim. Yeah, right. Well, it was that's the problem we had when we did the live show. Yeah, and we all always spoke each other. Camera, we jumping around. Right. So. But whenever I talk, it doesn't move over to me. Is the thing. So I wonder if if Google Hangouts is broke, and this is why they got rid of it. Oh, we're not going to fix it. Let's just get rid of it. So. <laughs> Your uh, little putting mill thing, you didn't get it put together yet? It's, it's put together. And it's right the chainsaw was too small for it? Was that it? Well, my original chainsaw had a 20 inch bar. That would yeah. fit that mill, but the log I want to mill is 32 inches, and you can't oh. do it two sides. You got to do it one yeah. cut. So basically, I dropped 1200 bucks to cut one piece of freaking wood. <laughs> well, wood's expensive and, nowadays. And she doesn't know that, so we won't tell her. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> 35 years, I don't want to lose it now. <laughs> exactly. It's <laughs> much invested oh, now. Like copper, man. <laughs> hey, well, she buys stuff for her quilt shop. Oh, my. Just remember, when you die, she's going to sell everything for what you said you paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> And we should hook her and my wife. I'm, 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 I'm not going to die. <laughs> 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 
I've got a friend of mine that um, we both are all model aircraft builders too. And it's my winter hobby when I can't be in the shop. But he was doing his will and he asked me to stop by and witness it. They, I guess you need a witness there. Right. Yeah. Well, I said, my only requirement is I need to be in the will and I get the model collection. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. I had a reciprocate. He's in mine. He gets my model collection. So, <laughs> which there is great. I I really don't want to see the guy pass away, but he's got like three hundred actual collectible kits. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having them in my collection. <laughs> Bank is down. Quite a few, man. We we've thought about that. We've actually snuck things into his house on his wife one night. We were at a show and. He spent a whole lot of money on kits to the point where I was in the backyard sliding them through the basement window while he was upstairs distracting his wife from the noise. <laughs> he owes me. Big time. You guys are how old? What's that? You guys are how old now? We're <laughs> yeah, in our 50s. are still like 12 year olds. Hey, do it just for fun, guys. Mm -hmm. I don't care how old I am. Absolutely. Other people yeah. might care, but it's like life's too short, guys, and it ain't getting any longer yeah. either. When I turned fifty, I marked the day with five backflips in my front yard. <laughs> there, friends, friends snuck in. I marked mine with two marathons in one weekend. Now I gave up running when I was in the thirties. Hi, y'all. Uh, I'm, I'm still pushing. We we can't see you, friends. Still pushing. You don't want to see me right now. I had to walk three miles today, and I was too pooper duper to take a shower. Well, well this isn't oh, smell of vision. This isn't smell of vision. And I just put something in the bed that you know I just recently got. No, no. <laughs> I thought you were going to show us something. Oh well. Um, can, I, can, can I share screen? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. You can. You can. Absolutely. The. Uh, uh, let me see. Let me see. There, Is that still working here? Well, yeah. there, there's a gear. There's a gear. No, no. There's three little dots in the upper right hand corner. That there's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. there's where you share screen. See it? Yeah. So 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 go to go to the three dots. Uh -oh, click the three dots right. and then share screen. So Chris, you gave up running, huh? I gave up, I used to run eight miles a day. And then I said to myself, what the hell am I doing this for? <laughs> I always very much in the same spot. Tell us when you're ready, worst, friends. Oh, wait a minute, we got some. Where y'all want to go first? Well, what were you going to show us? He's got to go green. Yeah, yeah. Um. I guess we should go to my craft room first. There you go. Craft oh, room capers. By the way, by the way, uh, Brenda G is is on the left. Chris, then uh, then Chris Neal. Well, uh, Cranky Workshop. Chris Neal and Nia oh, Niantic Woodworks. Uh, Jim Bashir's drive driveway workshop. Right. Close enough. Okay, sorry, man. No, that was it. <laughs> Hang on a minute, there's a ton here. You see my ugly room? My hey, ugly craft room? Hey, show us the doilies that you make. Are you... It's not ugly, just... It's a room. <laughs> um, and see, if Paul was here, he'd, he'd claim it for his messy workshop, like my shop. Where did Paul go? He had a bail. Yeah. Well, it's 9 o'clock, he had to go to bed probably. Uh -huh. I don't um, know who I was really he, in here. He's one. So. He's one of the one of the 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 uh, the crew, basically. They believe that a clean right. shop is a sign of a sick mind. That's right. That's what I say. That's not mine. <laughs> That's not <laughs> yours. <laughs> can, you see, can you see mine? Does that look clean? Yeah, it does. Oh, hold on, Chris. Let me let me look oh, at it. Well, compared to mine, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, of course, of course. Why? Wow. And this workbench. Yes, yes. See, Chris, I spent all morning fixing up my shop, and uh, then I, I cut five pieces of wood. 
That was Hang it. On, I got to redo that. Go back to your pressure pot. Right there. Did you make that? Yeah, I did. I, I, I hit buy it now on eBay. Wow. <laughs> Wow. The best way. Buy it now and say you made it on eBay. Yeah, yeah, and big, you don't have to. Big hack button, with it. it works great. It works good. Cool. Well, listen, it, right, listen, yeah. I, I got the yeah, gas pump on eBay. Sauce. Sauce. You can do some sauce, sauce, sauce today, but I, I, I would not eat it. No, but the file is in my sauce bag. Discord just oh. crashed on you, huh? The pressure pot's down here. Let me reload it and then I'll. Okay, it's free. Design. Okay, friends. No, no worries. That's a heavy duty one. <clears throat> yeah, I like the one from Harbor Freight. The, the the latches were pretty weak. <laughs> How high up do you pressure I get through though? How about forty five. That's not that bad. I, I, it'll go up to ninety, but the, the release valve is is set. And I got the. Uh, California air compressor over here, which makes almost no noise at all. Back to dovetails. That's wrong. <laughs> Gosh. I need Come to. Come on, Discord. Yeah, I, I did not finish my project for the. Uh, Anybody recognize that? The shop Yeah. Hey, you win the prize. And the other one over there. You've got two. <laughs> I guess one for all the parts. I was down at um, a yeah. restore, the Habitat uh, retail store. The giveaway. And there was a shopsmith in there for like 60 bucks. I just well, had no place price. to put it. Yeah, I, have I just had no place to put it. Two, one, I two, three. I have four of them. But I, I really so don't use them much. I, I usually I don't do them set up. I never understood the point of them because if you want to change tools, you got to reconfigure the whole damn thing. Then you have to go back to the original tool and reconfigure it back. Like, I think uh, Chris has got three of them. Cult. Don't you have three, Chris? Shopsmiths? Shopsmiths? I have four. You have four. Okay. okay. Yeah, well, one from one is no. the it, it's spare parts. It, it's it's like this. It's like this. He he's got he's got four. There you go. <laughs> Slide in there. Three is collection. And, and four is hoarding. And I use them for sanders. For sa really, <laughs> really. And I got the I got the saw stop in the other room. It's <laughs> nice, nice. That's um, my next table saw. So. Oh, ooh. I, I may I may uh, I may sell a few of these shop smiths. Do y'all see this? Yeah. You did Ooh, for a we second. Have a, we have a screen share going on, guys. Catch up. Oh, hold on. Let me see if I can highlight it. Okay, I think it's highlighted. Yep. Y'all see my stupidness? What, what is that? It's a pattern easel. Yeah. I can't I Wait. can't keep on looking down at the pattern on the desk when it lands flat yeah. because it hurts my eyes because it's distorted. Ergonomic, correct. Yes. I'm trying to make this something out of a few pieces of wood that I got. Yeah. You you need some type of you need some type of hooks on the back. Like yeah, like that. Like that. Exactly. But but instead of it being just a, a chunk like that, it needs to be round to where no matter at what height it is, it'll stay on that rod. So that needs to be like a like a semicircle or cylindrical or half a cylindrical oh, deal. Oh, wow. <laughs> Excuse me. See, I have two of them on there. Those were a pain in the butt to draw, believe it or not. Now that makes right there, that makes perfect sense, but on the bottom of those blocks, it makes like a half circle. Yeah. So it would lock on to the, the rod. Yeah, no matter what angle it's at. It wouldn't have to yeah. be a half circle. It could just be a shim, basically, tacked to that. <laughs> That's yeah, what that is. Good. That's what it's made out of. No, but I mean, too, on, yeah. on the block, if you put like a little shim on the back of that block so that it uh, hooks it down over top of the, the wood. Yeah. Yes, yes, think, exactly. Think of it this way. Think of your fingers over the rod holding on to it. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
I mean, that would probably work too, but yeah, because the gravity is going to keep it, you know, pushed down against it. But my luck, well, I'll hit it. Well, until something bumps it, you know, right, the way exactly. it is. If it, something bumps it, it's going to fall off of there. I'd put a little shim on the back of that. Yep, exactly. Uh, you right. wouldn't need need anything but a brad nail and <laughs> attack shim yeah. to the back of it, and it'll yeah, yeah, just slide right over top of that bar. Like like you did, friends, right. out a little bit and down some, and down, yeah, right. down and down. down. Yeah, He's going to be done with it by the time everybody gets through. Uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> Extrude it down now. Come on. That's the problem when you put a bunch of uh, makers and builders in the same spot. We all have a different concept. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But I think. And I think, welcome to my life. I go into a, a room with like six engineers in it. There you go. Say, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's actually a lot easier than, than the rounded. I was right. saying, but, yeah. but, I, but I'm like that. Uh, I, I'm with you. I was thinking it. rounding over too, but that that would work too. That would work perfectly. Yep. 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 Well, that's like true. I said, when it's laying flat on the desk and I'm trying to look at it, it distorts it, and then I yeah. get lost because I'm dyslexic. <clears throat> well, now I've got another tip for you. When your neck hurts. On yep. the front of that board where you're going to lay your pattern. Make that metal sheet, and then you can use magnets to hold your pattern right to the metal sheet on the Well, I got some washer faces. Yes, washer faces. Dishwasher <laughs> faces. Oh. I've been, I, 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 when I see a dishwasher, I go pull the face out of it quickly. Oh, oh. I see it on the there you go. There you I'll go. go pull that out. That mm -hmm. sheet metal. Yes, and that, I, that sheet metal. And I got plenty of that. Yep, yep just, just sheet of metal on there, and... Um, Sand down the edges so you know it doesn't catch on anything. But then you can use magnets to hold your pattern yeah. right to it. If you I'm use a bar magnet, you can. If you're reading a pattern like for cross stitch, you can move that bar magnet right down with the rows that you're working on. And well, I was going to actually put some sheet magnet behind my piece of metal so it's behind it, mm -hmm. so that way it automatically makes that sheet metal magnetized. Right. That way I got double magnetism, double magnetism. Mm -hmm. But then again, I'd have to make sure I check for polarities. Right. So, and That's... this right here, I think it should be rounded at the bottom. So that way it don't scratch my desk up too bad right here. Yeah. yeah. I, I could pat it. You could pat it with felt. Or I could just take sandpaper and whittle yeah, it away. Yeah. I mean, that yeah. ain't but. <clears throat> 12 inches wide that away. You could use fabric. You know anybody that's got any fabric or any fabric like I got I, I got some blue jean material in there. There you go. From about I don't that know, would, 50 pairs. Work, yeah. 50 yeah. pairs of oversized uh, blue jean pants. I, I say those. Yeah, I, I'd use felt yeah. uh, because the felt's what they use like on the back of coasters and everything to protect fine furniture. So, you know, and you can get shell felt for like a quarter at Walmart. But uh, I thought that would be a cute little build for me to do. Mm -hmm. That's kind of neat. That's, I like it. That's a fairly simple build, too. It's, yep. I like the concept. <clears throat> yeah, Friends is uh, really good designing stuff like that. Uh, she's using SketchUp. She also does, uh, what was the other one that you used? Blender. Yeah, Blender. Yeah. Oh, you use Blender and you still mm -hmm. have air? I would rather use SketchUp for real-world application because it's actually more accurate than Blender. I don't know, guys. I, 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 I don't know, guys. I use Blender, and there's Blender right there, and I really liked it. I, I really liked the way you could change the dimensions and stuff there. But anyway, um, um, that's Blender. Sometimes I swap back and forth between Blender and SketchUp. You take a SketchUp file and stick it in Blender, and you take Blender and stick it in a SketchUp file. You just got to name the actual dot thing differently. See, I like to use bar napkin and a number two pencil. So, <laughs> so where some of my better the, ideas come from. Do you use the orange erasers on those, or do you... Go big and well, until I wear them. So, so I wear them down, then I, I don't get know what that oh, is. oh, Chris, Chris is getting, Chris is getting uh, uh, down right now. 
Oh, the Jamesons is out. Excellent. <laughs> nice. Well, I got to say, it's not bad, but. I'm trying to get my Discord to work. I, I have brought that back for a computer. Did you get that I, over there? I made that. I was over there in July. Is that a voodoo doll? Oh. No, that's a mermaid. Oh, okay. Sorry. Chris, I'm jealous. <laughs> There's not much left. Um, that's the full yeah, stop. Yeah, you, you gotta go back. I'll be right back. I will. That's a one tenth scale. Be the hook I had to do it with. There's her back. Managed to put her hair on there. <laughs> that's one of the doilies I made. That's not bad either. I, I don't know. this heart for my husband's anniversary present hung up in his truck. <laughs> There's that same boily. That's a white blood cell. That's crocheted with regular yarn. A friend of mine printed this out for me. That's my logo. That's a platelet. There's some coasters that I made. They have CDs in them. In, them. Hmm. in the coaster? In the coaster. So, so you, you're just using it to make them uh, stiff? Yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. That's not mine. That's not mine. This guy really holds his crochet thread beard. That is weird. I don't know how he does that. That's a red blood cell. Be right back. So, so I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. You guys remember? You guys remember that one right there? I don't, I don't know if you can see it. I, I guess I'm not. I'm, Is that a booty doll? I don't know. Booty doll. Both hands. So you shop pet. Yeah. And somebody's not having. And, a good and, and look, and look, he's got a nice long beard. You know. <laughs> and, and he wears this. He, he's a little, you know, he's a lumberjack. You know, he's a lumberjack, you know, but there's his little bow. No. But uh, this is a lumberjack. This is a. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me, get, let me get off of me. Hold on. Okay. Sh show us. Um, This right here is a. <laughs> well, that's neat. Railroad stitch checker game set. I even made extra white ones right here. Cool. To use its crowns. Too cool. What's a railroad stitch? Let me see if I can. What is Zoom control? What? Uh, uh, con control. control the, the, scroll the, up. Yeah, the scroll. The scroll. The 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 mouse button, or the mouse scroll wheel. It ain't working. Hold the control down. Control. See, maybe maybe if I do it. Mine does. Mine does. Oh yeah, it is. Well. It looks like a railroad track through there. I don't know if okay, I'll, right I'll trust there. you on that one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a better picture of it right there. Okay. It looks like railroad tracks. Just sitting there messing with it. And yeah, yeah, it does. I'm trying to get it big on my end, it too. Do the, it doesn't do what's ever or whatever is inside that window. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's kind of funny. See, when I'm scrolling it, it changes. That's not mine. That's a crocheted egg because here recently I've been told that not to eat no more eggs because it irritates my tummy. Aww. So I crocheted me an egg to hang up in my kitchen. It's a, it's really a pot holder, but it's made out of the wrong yarn. It would melt. There's oh. a little crocheted heart rose. <laughs> There's Chris. Yeah, thanks, Bobby. It's coming. Try scrambling them with water, not milk. There's a, a, a wedding doily for my son. Sweating. How long does it take you to make something like that? 40 to 80 hours. Oh my God. She, oh. Does it, she does it on Twitch. She'll sit there and, and, and do it. And, yeah. This one was 25 hours. Wow. Thanks. And then it went to 20, 28 hours. Getting slow there? 
Mm-hmm. No, uh, I made this scarf for a lady who come and got me to take me to my Aspen uh, appointment. Today's today's uh, is brought to you by the letter M. That's the lady <laughs> that come pick me up. Oh, that's nice. That's not mine. That's not mine. That's not mine. This was a failure. I have failures in my egg. <laughs> and I keep my and my whole kitchen is just about this open air shelving and I love it. Good, good. I absolutely love it. Yeah, and then I put yeah, plexiglass you were, you down. Were, you were putting it up a while back, I remember. <laughs> and and I did that <clears throat> myself. And let me tell you that was a struggle with the level because it wasn't magnetized, it wouldn't stay up there. That's not <laughs> right. So you'd have to put it up against the wall and run real quick to move it and hold it again? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, scroll uh, What kind of camper do you have? Camper? Yeah, that uh, pop-up camper. It was like four pictures up. Yes. Oh, that's not my camper. That's somebody oh. else. This is a spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> cool, cool. No Parmesan? Oh, dang it. Forgot. That was the 1990 Starfire pop-up. I was going to make a koozie cover. That's not mine. That's not mine. Not mine. Ooh, See, other, me. other people. Other people. Machab made that. M Chab, yes. M Chab. Somebody was making a glove. Was a cast cover. This doily <laughs> right here got me through my cancer scare. Was that the, the 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 seventeen or twenty five that you made or whatever or not or didn't you make a bunch of them or not? No, no, no. Wait, never mind. That that was that was that was the uh, the, the chompers. That's that's yeah. right. Um, that's not mine. Mine, mine. Um, I really want to show off my craft room because it's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> It's it, when they actually when they actually start seeing the way I got it hung up there, they're gonna be blown away. They're gonna be like, "What?" You see any angle brackets underneath there? No, but but that's that's the whole thing. Though. They're like blind shelves, you know. Yeah. Um, I liked it because eventually we can do this. Yep. You can even put little drawers in them too, and stuff like that. I uh, was making sure I didn't waste the deadhead space. Yep. What's going on in the living room? Oh, uh, squirrel! Yeah, this, this, this is my camera rig right here. Yeah, a piece of wood. Right there on a tripod. Yep. Bungee straps. It works. Homemade, homemade uh, weight. What I got in here is gravel from the driveway next door. <laughs> it works. It works. Hey, spoken like a true maker. This box right here I had to make because I had to get this off the desk. It was just being a bossy, you know what. <laughs> and I had to make sure I had it raised up high enough so I get the lid up on, on my uh, printer. And you see my camera <clears> rig <throat> up right there. And that light right there is 500 bucks. Yikes. Really? 500 for a light? Yeah. Yep. Wow. Why? Right? You don't, well, you don't see the light. light. Because it's I got the Christmas that. lights on it or what? Because it's got that big old fish eye magnifying glass right oh, there. Oh, the magnifying. Yeah, that's, that's, okay. I'm afraid, people. <laughs> Let me scroll back up some more here. <laughs> I had to build a box back here. Let's see if I can get a better picture. Here's the box. It's just paneling and some two by six. Yeah. Uh, one yeah. by six, excuse me. And it's actually screwed down to the desk. I needed it there because I was putting these in there. Let's see if I can get a close up of that. Here. That's cool. No, it's a little dark, but they're like filing cabinet shelves. Mm-hmm. I, I swear that looks like a little man standing there without any arms. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, that's the 32 inch screen that I that we put up there. Far cry from this little bitty rinky dink thing right there. 
Um, I set my phone right here for when I'm streaming on Twitch flat, and then I just put it wherever it needs to go. There's you a $5,000 vacuum cleaner right there if y'all can afford it. I'm trying to, yeah, I ain't paying 5K I'm, for I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember the name. <laughs> it's like Sunshine or, or something like that. Uh, um, Quite honestly, I would never turn it on. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it looked like before. I actually started disassembling everything. I made these curtains right here out nice. of old curtains. They're double thick, so that way if we're having movie night, we won't see nothing. Uh, what's going on over here? Oh, yeah, oh the commode. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. I know. <laughs> this is my Georgia Bulldog bathroom. See? That light right there was already here. You painted it? And I, I went to go take it down to clean it. And when I went to take it down, I just barely touched it, and it fell. Wow. Oh. Straight down into my sink. I put that in by myself. My husband's like, I don't think I could do it. <laughs> I went in there, read the instructions, had it up in like five minutes. You can read. I paid 20 grand for that. Bathroom. Got one of them on the back of the door. And I got some weirdness going on there. Yeah, we don't I, want to know. I hang my towels up. I do. And there's some weirdness there. <laughs> I wish I had a better picture of the shelves up here. Those were my design. I have a six foot five sign, so that's why I had to, I don't know if you can see it, concave it right there. Oh, for his head? Because his head would actually hit it. Wow. It'd probably nick his cheek right about in here. Wow. <laughs> so, okay, so since this is the bathroom. Toilet paper comes off the roll from the front. The, <laughs> the, the front. Okay. And you see how I have my Same thing here. on that. You know, my sister told me, because I, <laughs> I, I questioned her on that too. She says, unless you have cats, because a cat, if you put it on the front, a cat will, will snatch it and it'll roll the whole roll off. But if you do it the other way, even if they do like this to it, it won't come off. Must be why I don't have a cat. Mm -hmm. oh, I right. a she's got four of them. She's got four of them, Chris. And honestly, this? I all that was in there, and I had to stack it in there where it would just fall out on my feet all the time, constantly on my toes, something. And when we got here, the doors were completely gone, absolutely gone. The, the inner shelf was gone. I had to work around this thing. Those got taken down to trash because they weren't even worth polishing up. So we made shelves to go in it like that. Put some cool. modern ones on. Put these weird little file folder looking things Dividers? in here. Like that. That's and, the job. Mm -hmm. And that's why the little weirdo thing is there. Yeah, to, to like stand up uh, mm -hmm. lids and stuff. Mm-hmm. Very good. And I had to have this thing cut in three pieces to get it in there. There was no way you were going to yeah. jimmy that sucker in there for yeah. nothing. Yeah, I, I hear you. So there's a cut going back off this way to the very corner. And then this is another cut out piece right here. Because that way I could take it and hook it around mm -hmm. in there. Yep. Like you do with long legged tables, you can't get through the door. Right, right. I love it. Fr Friends has got a a, a a a text channel called Bathroom. I think. And, and then you got one. And then you got one called Shit Chat too, or something like that, right? <laughs> Chit chat? Did you say? Shit chat. Shit <laughs> chat. Yeah. Shit, shit chat. chat. I thought you said that. Yeah. So who's that? Oh, I don't. I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> don't don't know the guy. My so collection of polishes that I use on stuff for around the house, not on me. Hey, you know, you can take polish and and yeah. take 
take bolts and use them like like a uh, uh, Loctite. Just put it on the threads and oh, not really? not inside. Yeah, and then you can actually get it off because when you when you twist it or you know leverage it, it cracks off and comes right off. I caught this fish on my birthday. Yeah, you you see that right there? Yeah, that that's what I thought too. That's ass. Fish. That's ass. That's ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that that ain't that ain't no fish. That's ass. It's bass. Must stand for something. Days apart. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff in here. There's this stump right here. I'm gonna, I'm fixing to get braids, and I think I'm gonna dig some holes in it with a drill and stick <laughs> me some M80s in it and light it up. No, the M80s won't blow it up. They they make stuff called root rot. If you yeah. drill some holes in it, you can pour root rot in it and make sure you water it down good, and it'll rot that root right out of the ground. My dad used M80s to put, are a lot more fun. My, my dad used to put sulfuric and muratic acid in it, and, and the, the acid would just eat up. And I think it's very illegal, too, by the way. You see, this thing right here, I have to board it up with plywood. That's not mine. There's, see, that's why you don't want me to paint nothing. <laughs> well, that'd probably be me, too. Except the you, you'll not be getting a job at the nail salon anytime soon with that. Oh, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's all this about? See, people show cool looking hey, things. Come on, right? man. Come on. That is pretty cool, though. That, that is pretty cool. Pictures of people oh. putting their pets in there. I roll my own cigarettes. This, this is this is my sure oh. sure. This is my version of a of a brush holder. I'd roll my own too if it was legal here. <laughs> <laughs> in Colorado, it is Brenda. Yeah, but it's, I don't live in Colorado. In Washington, it, it is here uh, too. It's just not allowed on my property. It's just not allowed in your property. This little half acre is my kingdom. I, I set the rules. Um, and plus, you you, you work for the fence. This is why I am now a tri-stitchable fiber artist because now oh. I cover just about all the bases. Isn't that? Doesn't there that look go. like Hubert? I was wondering where that came from. <laughs> doesn't that look like Hubert? That right there is tatting. Mm hmm. See, Brenda yeah, knows she is, that's somebody else's crochet booties, which is being crocheting, it's not here. Uh, this doily right here took me forever. And it's what, 21 inches wide, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. cool. Nice work. I think it took me a good mm, three months to make that because it is a day padding. And who got you hooked on 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 tatting? M. Chab. Yeah, M. Chab got yeah. me into it. Yeah. M. Chab is, it. M. Chab is are another. You are you a needle tatter or a shuttle chatter? A needle tatter. Mm -hmm. I can't do the other. There's one right there. That's a bracelet I made for my hubby, but he don't like it. He taught. He asked me to make him a bracelet, so I made him a bracelet, and he didn't like it. Yeah, I do needle tatting, crocheting, knitting. Spinning, weaving, you name it with fiber, I've done it. Man, so Brenda, been... you're you're pretty naughty, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm a naughty I'm a naughty hooker. <laughs> naughty by nature. <laughs> There's a license plate for you. Yeah. <laughs> There's a butterfly I tatted. That's pretty. Um There's a heart. That's cool. Looks like it's got a monkey face down here at the bottom. A skull face. A seahorse. A skinny seahorse. Is that a diet? Yeah. That was my first padded piece right there. Man. Them doilies, when you tied them, took a long time. Boy, she put a bunch in there, didn't she? She's proud of that. She should be too. She makes Christmas ornaments. <laughs> That's gorgeous. I got one sitting over here. She shipped me one. But um, what else do I do? Oh yeah, I'm I'm I want to bring a gripe up right quick. Not that one. I 
Gnostics. See, I have a wish list up here if anybody needs to know what to get. It's right here. Y'all let me know if y'all get bored. Go. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Yeah, we don't get to see other people's stuff. No, not that often at all. Why is that in cross stitching? There's a little piece I do. Uh, see, sometimes I'll get these little pieces right here just to have on my desk in case I get frustrated with something and I really don't want to stop crafting. I can have a palette cleanser. I can work on like this piece right here for a few minutes and then go back to the project that's frustrating me. Mm -hmm. Good teacher piece. <clears throat> that's that was my answer to stretching my cross stitch pieces. It's best place of glass on the inside right there. Oh. I made that for my granddaddy. He's a firefighter. He's long gone. Cool. I made this thing right here. Now, how's wow. that one done? How's that oh. one done? The, the tiger? Go back to that. Yeah. See, oh, you want to see the tiger. Okay. Go back yeah. to the tiger. If it let me. <laughs> it's a mm -hmm. slow. I gave, that, cool. I gave that to my mother-in-law. She has a thing about tigers that's and cross tigers that's cross-stitched that's cross-stitched wow it looks looks, wow. looks good yeah it was a 18 by nice 16 piece I like the detail yeah. yeah the reflection's really cool yeah okay this is what i'm gonna gripe about i had new year's which you see right here and christmas i had those made the whole set for the whole year was made <clears throat> We have a dinner party and the people, I had these on, on the coffee table laid out, you know, mm -hmm. and I was trying to figure out how it's going to mount them on something, whether it be decoupage or epoxy it to something or, you know, resin something. Mm -hmm. I get up the next morning and guess what? they are gone. New Year's and Xmas is gone, and it's hop and it just happened to be we were throwing a little Christmas party. Oops. So now I'm out New Year's and Christmas. But yeah, a lot of that stuff, and that's not the only thing I've cross stitched. Let me get through all of these. <clears throat> this thing right here took me four years to make. Wow. Wow. wow, wow, that's a lot of detail, I can see why. <laughs> well, I was working on it, and then I ended up getting pregnant, so I worked on it as long as I could, which wasn't that long. Good, um, that. And then when he was born, he required <laughs> all of my attention, of course, and I didn't, When he, even when he was getting up walking around, I still didn't work on nothing cross stitch. <laughs> Because I was afraid he'd come too. over and grab a needle and stuff it in his mouth yeah. and we'd be yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be so damn needy, I tell you. Yeah. A little choo choo train, some ducks. That's cross stitch on thin plastic canvas. They were on these uh, these plastic hangers. I decided to do something cuter with it. And I drill I cool. drill screwed floral wire. Mm -hmm. Because I want to sit, fix it, sit there and turn it. <laughs> and turn it, and turn it. So I got the drill out. Made all of these birds. Love cardinals. It takes me about two or three days to make one of these birds. And they're not little by any means at all. All kinds of birdies. Now, Another now, firefighter scene. Now, friends, do you have you have stuff covered up on them? Is that because it says who they are or uh, above the date? I think. Yeah, yeah, and see, like right there, you've got it scratched. Yeah, out. my name is on there. Oh, okay, I got you. Uh, this is the first piece I learned on cr cross stitching at 1982. Uh, and that was a remake, but I can't find the other colors. Well, the remakes are never the same. <clears throat> um, I tried to dry this with a hair dryer, 
after I washed it a couple of times, and I think I held it a little too close right there. Oh, oh. <laughs> See, had you not said that, I would have thought it was... Yeah, if you not pointed it out, I don't yeah. think would notice. <laughs> yeah, I would have so. thought it was part of, part of like some shading or something, or... Um... That's my first baby booty. Now, I don't see. I don't see. I'm gonna call him out. I don't see TJ out there. Is TJ out there? Oh well, I I don't see him. These are. This is the start of the curtain for my cabinets. Oh. I'm just gonna knit them. Every time you go buy those little footy things, they look like bird and earth for some reason. <laughs> Or Angry Birds, that's what it looks like. Well, that's that's what Bert and Ernie look like, Angry Birds. You ever thought about that? Mm hmm I actually could knit on these. <clears throat> Those are sewing needles with a pearl glued to it, and that's just erasers out of a pencil. I can actually knit on that. I can't believe I can do it either. This right here is a Twitch logo. I actually needed those on the toothpick. And that's a broke. There's the first one that I made, and I decided to go bigger, but I'm thinking this one's cuter. That's great. And I knitted that on the toothpicks, too. Thanks for the nut job now. <laughs> It takes a lot of patience to knit with toothpicks because, man, if you break them, you got to go sand another set down. You know, you know what takes even harder practice, or it's, it's a lot, a lot harder, is is picking your teeth with crochet needles. That's, <laughs> ah. that, that takes I, that takes I some talent. Crocheting, I think, the arms off the toothpicks. Yeah, but you I can thought, use the yarn for floss. Right. <laughs> I, <laughs> Oh, y'all want to see my hat of damn whoopsies? Ow. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, how'd you do that, friend? Nick, dangerous. That's not me. That's oh. uh, tyrannical veteran. Oh, okay. veteran. oh well. Uh, uh, it's, it's tyrannic uh, veteran. Uh, that's okay. Yeah. Shit happens. Yeah. How'd that happen? Um, he burned himself on something. I yeah. don't forgot. He grabbed the he grabbed the business end of a soldering iron, maybe. Yeah, uh, probably. That's my whoopsie right there. Oh. I dropped that on the floor and it bent it up. Yeah, like wow. that, like that, really. Just just perfectly like that. Oh. I'm like, hmm. You know, once you bend it back, it's not gonna be right. Right, right. All and, the stuff's gonna flake off of it. So I just yeah. left it like that. No, and, right and, it and, it, and it tensions it or, or untensions it. I, I don't know exactly, but it actually breaks it inside like that. I mean, uh huh. So what's the point of fixing it? Yeah. All right, here's some photos of me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so where are you guys at in Georgia? My son's down in uh, Eldosta. We are not that far. I am anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours south out of Atlanta. <laughs> Repeat that again now. 30 minutes to about an hour to two hours south out of Atlanta. So depending on traffic or how fast you yeah. drive. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, your, your tongue's falling out. Uh-huh. That, well, that's going to fix it for her. Believe it or not, these are wax teeth. Wax. Why? Well, I bet that makes eating hot soup rough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Touche. Wax teeth. So you knew you'd get me around for something, didn't you? Brenda, it's it's awesomeness. Um, Brenda, that's why you need bill money. That's and right. then, and then, of course, what we do over here on Twitch is that we have a wall of shame. No, uh -oh. I'm not on there, am I? Uh, I bet you are. Uh oh, you're the poster child. Uh oh, right? <laughs> nah, uh, I, I, I bet I'm not. Here yeah. we go. Yeah, Peeper's on tonight, isn't he? No, it's Saturday. Never mind. Oh right. man, you deleted my clip. No, I didn't delete it. Not, not if it was mine. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't delete stuff. I know there's another one up here. I catch people doing all kinds of crazy stuff. I, I didn't do it. You can't see it. You can't. Nope. I mean, there's just. See, I told you. There's nothing of me up there. Man, look, I had to frog half of this doily. Look at that. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I was like, Arr. <laughs> oh my God, I was so mad. I was just like yanking on it because I don't want it to throw it in the floor and stomp on so, it. So, so of crazy. all those <laughs> clips, of all those clips, which is your most fun, your most, uh, you know, laughable clip? I mean, here. I don't know if y'all be able to hear it. Look, she's got teeth. Can't see it. Yeah. I think I just made a mistake. <laughs> so were those the wax ones or are they? Here's another one. No, those were the real ones. I'll just bring it over here. Maybe. This was bad. This was real bad. Oops. 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 Virgin ears. My 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 virgin my virgin ear. I look like I was puking my cuss words at the floor. My and virgin then, ear. And, and did you see the did you see the desk there at the end? I don't think it was very convincing. All right, I'll ask the question. What caused you to do that? Uh the hubby come in and he said uh boo and I was enthralled with what I was doing. <laughs> I was deep into it. And he goes, he comes in, he goes, boo. Scared it. It's a simple boo. <laughs> it's a simple little boo. Got me. Great. It's always the husband's fault. I was vacuuming the drapes one day, and the old man come in behind me. I didn't know he was back there. <coughs> Tapped me on the shoulder. I beat the hell out of him with the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I can't, I don't think I know that one. But hey, yeah, I don't think on me anymore. <laughs> Well, there's some violence goes on your place. <laughs> right. And that's why she needs bail money. That's right. Or that's why the cops are afraid to go there. <laughs> Where the heck did that come from? Oh, it, it just popped up because you, you, you scroll down, it, it goes to the upper right corner like that. Um, um what else do y'all want to see? I'm like to make thirty thousand bucks in my bank account. But... <laughs> oh, I can't help numbers to the louder would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> See, I just want a simple beach in the Caribbean with a margarita in my hand. Uh -oh. Publisher's clearinghouse showing up at my door with that big check. Yep. Hey, uh, <laughs> See, <laughs> no, I want to see Ed McMahon delivering oh, my check. <laughs> Egg McMahon. Ed McMahon, yeah. I want to see him. Be dead. Well, Good luck. That'd be pretty interesting considering he's dead. That's why I want to see it. <laughs> and what they? That would go viral. Come on, hurry up. But yeah, I'm kind of like any and everywhere. If it's got a purpose or it has a need to be done. I tried to figure out what's the best way to go to go about doing what kind of material that could be yarn to do a curtain with. It could be a blind to do a curtain with. It's upside down. You know, it's like, and a lot of this stuff I tried to find. But I don't like spending money. I hate going shopping. Oh, I, I love spending money. I just don't ever have any money to spend. Yeah. And it looks like Discord is done um, crashed on me again. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to need to call it a night. My foot's starting to bother me here. So, 
Okay, Brenda, take take care. Is uh is 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 the uh the, the G stuff getting better? I'm sorry. Is the gout getting better? Uh, it's still very sore. It hurts to walk on it. Oh. And so I'm I'm still granting it. I don't go back. I was supposed to go back to the doctor this coming Monday, but his wife is going to have an operation this week, so uh, it'll be the following Monday on the 23rd that I go in to see him, and we'll figure out. Is there another doctor? It's, it's just one doctor practice. All right, let me say something about the gout. Gout reminds me of like something that would be more of a kidney stone. No, the way it's but gout, gout is actually a crystallization of, and I can't remember the chemical name in the joints, I believe. And, and uric it's, acid. Uric acid, thank you. And it's and it crystal and it hurts like hell. And it also also oozes through the skin so there's this I, I don't know the smell i can't point to it but but uh but but there's an odor that 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 also it smells like a dark room like a dark room yeah there you go yeah it's a form of arthritis so yes yes it's, it's a very severe yeah. form of arthritis from consuming too much well, you said it, it's the muratic acid that crystallizes well that reminds no, not me muratic muratic <laughs> Well, not erratic, not my erratic, you're erratic. Uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, but that's erratic, what it's like. And it, the, kidney stone? The, well, it's not a kidney stone, though. It, it is it's actually... It's a kidney stone in your toes. Yeah, it's actually erratic acid. Yeah. And the erratic acid is like little slivers of glass. Yeah, yeah. Kinda and like, when kinda, it crystallizes in the joint, you feel like yeah. it's a th billion needles. Kind of like poking at the same time kind of like it swells up and it irritates <laughs> it, it it makes you a mess when it does that yeah. um, and they've got me on um, meloxicam to try to take down some of the inflammation that's in the joint and that has helped mm -hmm. um, Good. i'm a little concerned about some of the other side effects and stuff that it's supposed to cause like making your hair fall out you know and wonderful little things like that so we're gonna have to kind of keep an eye yeah, on see yeah. what Brenda, it does. you can't take anything else with it is another issue that i have with it um so for you know any other aches and pains headaches whatever i have that's tough luck right, um right. you know you, you take a meloxicam you take meloxicam and that's it um so i don't know but i know that the toe is still sore he had another issue it looks like there is like a cyst on the side of my toe uh, in the x-ray, and that could be causing some problems. I don't know if it's a cyst or maybe it's another bunion coming back, because years and years and years ago, I had bunions taken off both feet. So Gosh. it might, might be some uh, scar tissue or something from where that was done, and that could be causing an issue in there. I don't know, but I know that it's sore, and after all this time, it shouldn't even be sore anymore. You know, we should be kicking this. Yeah, so yeah. I'm concerned about talk about modifying your diet. Oh, hell yeah. He took me <laughs> off food. Yeah, she can't uh, drink no more, man. Oh, my God. I, it, oh, what, certain foods you can't have. Yeah. What I'm allowed to eat, you can put in a symbol. High, high proteins uh, are out. Yeah, I can't have proteins. I can't have chocolate. I can't have uh, mm. popcorn. I mean, you, you pretty much name it, I can't have it. Well, Brenda... Uh, and it, if it's not from the gout, it's from I have low blood sugar, so I have to be careful with sugars and uh, carbs. I, I so. will tonight, Brenda, when we leave here, I will go make some popcorn in your honor, okay? Okay. <laughs> popcorn, you know, and I, I can't drink alcohol. I can have water. I can have dark cherry juice, uh, uh, maybe fruit juice, but doesn't I, have any I got that covered for you. Don't worry about it. In the IV? I've lost 11 pounds in the last month. Well, that really? tells me. That, that. I mean, you know, he, he's fixing for me to be invisible come spring. Hey, don't tell <laughs> Russ, okay? Just don't tell Russ. <laughs> no shrimp, no seafood. Oh. Uh, I'm on a seafood diet. I can seafood, I just can't eat it. Yeah, you can seafood eat it. <laughs> right. I, I see well, it from a distance. Way, way better. I, I can have the steak. <laughs> you know, they just wave the steak yeah. in front of me. I can have the smell. Yeah, and, yeah. and your joints start hurting just by smelling it, probably. Well, I'm sorry that you or anybody else is afflicted with that. It has to really have to go through all that hell as it is. I really am sorry. 
Yeah, I hope it, I forget it. Yeah, it, it's it's rough ride to to mess with this gout stuff. I mean, you you know, you hear of people having it, and if you've never had it, you kind of think, oh well, you know, just something that'll go away. Hey, well, me, not necessarily. Let, it's, let me it'll go away. It'll go away. It's gonna come back. Let me it's ask everybody. Let me ask everybody that's on the on the panel right now. Do you guys mind if I post the video that we're in now over to YouTube too, and and call oh, it sure, after, why not? after show party? Sure, do we do, we, do we badmouth anybody? I don't think so. I don't. Not this well, this know. time we didn't. This time we didn't. Unless I mean, let's put it this way, lady friends. Uh, I don't think. Uh, you know, a little little square there doesn't matter, but I just wanted to make sure. Chris, especially yourself. Um, I don't care. Well, ain't nobody looking yeah. at me because I look a fright. Okay, so <laughs> I'll take that as nobody objects, and and it's all good because we didn't we didn't go on. I guess it's recorded here, so it, right. I don't know, guys. Yeah. I'm just. It's already on the web. Yeah, it is. Brenda, they didn't even ask you about the whole the whole guy thing. Have you been seeing the same doctor through all this? Yeah. Might be trying to change docs. Well, I've only seen him the one time. Well, he obviously doesn't know what he's doing. Well, he put me on meloxicam <laughs> and he put me on compression treatments for the foot. And Is it working? Well, it's it's helped, but it's not going. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. And, and See, so I I'm one of those guys... Kid, if I don't think my doctor's doing the right thing, I find him. I go get a new doctor. Well, That's you can't do that after just through. seeing him one damn time. You got to see him more than that. <laughs> he uh, well, run a I, blood I, test I, and stuff, and I don't know what the results are on the blood test or what he found until I get to the I, end of the scene. And I, so I'm just saying, I have to wait. Just yes, I thought you've been seeing it. Gout is I haven't seen the same one longer. Sorry. Well, <laughs> if you haven't heard about the blood test, and it's already been two weeks, then no. No news is good news. Well, that's what I'm figuring. He probably didn't find too much in there, but he, he ran a complete blood analysis, and he was also looking to see how, how bad the uric acid buildup was in my blood, and he was also testing for some infections. So, um, you know, I'd like to know, since I'm going to be paying for the lab work, uh, you know, it would be kind of nice to know what it actually did yeah. turn up. Well, at least he, your doctor didn't call <clears throat> you on your birthday. Uh, which was a Friday afternoon, right when he was fixing to go home. I tell you, you have cervical cancer. We need to fast track you tomorrow. Honey, I've already been there and had a hysterectomy in 1995. <laughs> <laughs> I probably got the t-shirt. Yep. It's so long ago that I, you know, I know I went through it, but I don't remember dates too good. Why yeah, not? I, I, I remember right down to the day that I had the operation. It was August the 9th, 1995. Oh, I was going God. in to have my hysterectomy on mine and my husband's anniversary day. That's uh, I got a, a good GP right now, and I have no reason to bail on her, but my other doctor, I'm not too sure what's on, he's about to get fired. <laughs> Well, I mean, if you've been seeing somebody for a while and you don't like the results, I, when I went through the cancer, I went through three doctors before I got yeah. the results that I needed. Um, so, you know, I'm not above doing that, but I'm not going to can the guy after I've just seen him one time, don't even know what the results are of the test yeah, yet. I, I agree. I do, I, it just seems like you've it's been I, yeah, around for a while. But... I've been going through this for six weeks, but I just saw him two weeks ago. I went through it for a month before I, I broke down and said, I can't take it anymore. Somebody's going to have to try to do something, see? That's, so. that's why I thought it was longer than that. <laughs> I got to say, my doctor is almost 80 years old. I love him. I tell him what's wrong with me. He agrees with me. And then we go from there. <laughs> there you go. Doctor, I need a little something, something. <laughs> yeah, well, I want to see this guy, you know. We, 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 we are in related fields. I very think he fixes them. Yeah, there you go, Chris. Yes. But when I went in to see this guy, he, he asked me, he said, well, what do you think's wrong with it? And I said, well, my guess would be gout. And he said, you ever had it before? I said, no. He says, then how's come you think it's gout? And I said, well, it fits all the symptoms or the, of anything I've read. And, you know, he kind of looked at me like, right. let me be the judge of that. And then right. he takes a look at the x-rays and he says, well, I think you have gout. See, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm the opposite. Okay. I walk in and they ask me, what do you think it is? I, said, I don't know. That's what I'm paying you for. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, yeah. 
Why don't you get your ass to work? <laughs> I know what that kind of pain is like because I've been through it most of my life because I have spinal bifida in three of my vertebrae and I have an extra vertebrae in my back, which causes all kinds of other stuff okay. down below that point. Well, you you're, got just, you're just an overachiever. <laughs> and, and, and I don't let much of it get me down. Kilroy will tell you, I'm string cutting the grass, working in the yard, hard work. Yeah. All stuff, the time. St- stuff I don't even do. <laughs> but if I was to have to get a real job, I don't know if I could commit because I have to sit down every two or three hours. They get a desk job. There's a problem. Sorry. I'm a high school dropout. Or, or excel at what you do, and you do a lot of things very well. Right. You know, follow your dreams. I'm an I'm an whatever, whatever you have a passion for. Yeah. Did you ever get that that uh, that? I think it was a garbage truck driving route or something like that. No. Okay. I, th- I thought you. I thought you were working on on driving a truck. <clears throat> Or am I God, wrong, friends? I'm really nervous. Or I mean, am I wrong? Really nervous. I was trembling the whole time. Really? That, really. that right there flunked, flunked me again. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, sometimes one door closes, you know. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have to canter at my church tomorrow cool. at 930, so I'm going to fuck out. Well, have a great night. thanks for checking right, in, Chris. I'll Appreciate it. Down. Have, have a nice you. one. Now, now I know where I'm taking my logs. So. <laughs> Right, right. Indeed. All right, it was nice to meet you both. And, and Chris, you're yeah. just up about an hour away from me. Bring him down. Yeah. Him up. There you go, Chris. Right. That was an open <laughs> invitation, and you got witnesses. <laughs> bye bye, Chris. Bye bye, Brenda. Yeah, Brenda was leaving first. Okay, guys, I guess I guess we're at the end, right? Chris is out of beer. I got a few minutes. Oh, oh okay. Got a few minutes left here, so. It's funny. Most people anyway, use a, you know, a, a sand, uh, a, a, a time. What, what's it called? The gosh, I'm I'm drawing a blank. The the uh, um, yeah, so, you know, we're sand hourglass. an hourglass. Thank you. Hourglass. An hourglass. Most people use an hourglass to measure time. Chris, the 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 uh, level of his beer. And if he puts it up to the light, yeah, he can actually see the shadow. Uh, I don't know if you seen my post this week. I have a favorite. Neighborhood bar. It's been there since eighteen sixty two. That's the best. That's the best. It's closing down. Oh wow, really? No, I haven't. The owner he, first of all he claimed Well he's kinda old he's if, it, if it opened up in eighteen sixty three, so I can oh, understand well, that. Well he's on this the old the president right, right now. He claimed the taxes were killing him. And uh we're not buying it anymore because we found out he owns the property outright. So it's not he's not paying lease, he's not paying rent. Uh, so, well, um, but he's taking but the property in that area, the value has gone up dramatically. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I bet. So he sold his he, he hey, sold his hey, liquor license. Hey, the for same fifty thousand. The same thing has happened here in Marfa, Texas, and in Fort yeah. Davis. And you know, Marfa, Texas. I mean, I know you heard of Marfa, Texas, right? The Marfa lights and stuff. But uh, um, no, can't say really, you've never heard of the Marfa Lights? Well, well anyway, anyway, I've barely, barely heard of Odessa. So. Well, yeah, and Odessa was in the news here a while back. But anyway, uh, but but the point is, is there you haven't heard of it? That's really makes my point. The property prices are just, and the taxes along with them. You know, it's in the mountains. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, you well, know. That's it. We're, 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 we're all horrified. It is so bad that this bar is closing down. It is the Irish cultural center of the entire area. People go there for meetings. We have St. Patrick's Day there. We, you know, everything Irish happens out of this place. Hey, Chris, can I ask I you a question? Are what? you smoking? No, that's the mosquito thing. Oh, in the okay, floor. okay. Because I, I was going to say you got a fire if if you're not smoking or yeah. Okay, uh, I, I can dig that. Mosquito coil is more like yeah. keeps the mosquitoes outside. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but it, it's gotten so bad. I was listening to my Irish radio. Pick tie. And they started talking about it there. 
Well, our biggest problem right now is where are we going to spend St. Patrick's Day? Another bar, maybe? Hey, pig tie out there. Um, it just said hello, peoples. Well, this is the after show for another show that that we do on YouTube. We just tried something new, and and we ended up over here pig tie. If you're wondering, there's no real no real <laughs> line of concentration. In fact, mostly everybody's left, and probably who is that? Um, pig tie is is a streamer also, I believe, on on Twitch. Um, okay. Holy crap, it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is late. Well, it's 10 here, but... Um, but yeah. um, I want to I wanna, I wanna give a shout out for HK7335. He's another blender dude. Ah. So, you might want to give him a whirl. Well, shout him out. In fact... Can you shout? He's live he right did. now. Oh, is he? He okay. just did. <laughs> yeah. He just did. Ah, yeah. uh, freaking commercial. Of See, course. I signed a Twitter account a long time ago. I never used this to the point I even forgot what my password was. Well, you create another one. I probably That's... don't require you. I can't keep track of my YouTube, my Facebook, and my Twitter. <laughs> I don't even think I actually have an app password. in my phone to keep all my passwords. If it wasn't for that, I could never get logged into anything. Well, don't forget the password to your app. The password for who what? The password for your app. Don't forget that. Oh, that's uh, that is the. I can't say because you're streaming. Right. Don't no no don't say it. Yeah. Don't don't okay. say it. Don't it's say a it. number that yeah, was no. memorized. I memorized as a child. La 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 la. Yep. <laughs> What's the first number we all memorized as a child? Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Eight six yeah, seven close. five three zero oh, nine. But it was a different girl's number. So. Yeah, Chris. Well, I, 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 I want to say thank you for inviting me to come. You're welcome, friends. And brag. We would have loved to see you, though. <laughs> no. Well, we right we kind of we kind of did, but. Yeah, I've been crying today. It's been the worst on me today. Well, sorry about that, friends. Yeah, we all have tough days. You know what the good thing is? Get up tomorrow and you start over. Yeah, poor Seems to be the way. <laughs> and, and the fat burnout in my caliper, I'm mad. Yeah. But I, I know these people, Big Tie. And 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 actually one of them for sure, I don't know about Chris, is, is anti porn, I'm, I'm almost certain. So anti she, porn? Yeah, she wouldn't be she wouldn't be streaming it anyway. <laughs> He's not, laughing. No, I don't no. stream it, but I won't say I'm anti porn. <laughs> no, 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 but no, no. But what, what he was saying is that's that's how you get Pornhub vid streamed on your channel. In other words, let somebody in to your channel yeah. that doesn't uh, that you don't know who they are and they pop yeah. up, you know. Yeah. Certainly, certainly. Oh no, oh, yeah. no. Are you referring to me? Well yeah, no, yeah, but no. But yes, but no. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. But it wasn't directed at you, it was like I'm very anti yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't a. It's like two out of three, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, everyone's got their thing. If you, if porn's your thing, hey, who am I to say it's wrong? Yeah, uh, it's 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 a personal choice, and and let's leave it at that. Yeah, exactly. Not my thing. It's well. Let's. I, uh, I haven't enjoyed my share, but. <laughs> Um, but I've also grew up at one point too. Because because so. there's no telling who's listening to us right now. Oh, no, I, I, I didn't say nothing. Uh, I just said I'm anti porn, big time. That's all I said. Well, the, the government is listening because I am a yeah. fed. Yes, so. yes. <laughs> oh well. I don't know. For some y'all need to y'all need to come out of here and for for some reason for some reason when you said that. Uh, it made me think of corn. I don't remember having any corn. <laughs> yep, I <remember> that <laughs> what else can I sing it? 
the Wi Fi um, use I took all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I agree with you, big time. I can't stand it when the man sticks the knife in the dirty dish water. I can't do it. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad when it is. Because I used to work at McDonald's and this one, I will not say the cuss word. <coughs> Decided he was going to take one of them uh, huge knives and just throw it over there in the dish pit, which is like a little mini whirlpool. And I just happened to be washing the dishes because you still got to scrub them a little bit before you actually are finished doing that part. And me and the guy that was standing next to me helping me wash the dishes, his hand came up and there was a great big old slice across it. Right across the palm and the meat, you know? Mm hmm And he was bleeding like he just ouch. lit his wrist. Ouch! Ouch! And ouch. I knew it was wrong to put a knife in dirty dishwater just because of that. And anyway, OSHA had to come out and clean the dish pit out and sanitize the whole area around it. So that shut down the restaurant for three days. Yeah. When oh, OSHA comes I, I, I out bet. to clean blood out of something, mm -hmm. that's serious. Yep. Uh, that's one of the reasons I don't eat at McDonald's. <laughs> I mean. Well, sometimes little kids will have accidents in pools, and they have to shut yeah. the whole pool down, you know. That's actually been the biggest issue of my, my club that we belong to this summer. It's been shut down at least once a week. Some kid. Got the deuce in the pool, mm -hmm. and yeah. the, the adult members are getting really, really yeah. irritated, yeah. and we're the ones paying the freaking dues. Yeah, yeah. Not the toddler. Forget about, forget about all the acid in the water. If you understand what I'm saying, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's getting irritating when I'm paying to swim yeah. my laps in the morning. If I get there and the pool's closed. Yeah, yeah. I didn't get up at four in the morning so I could go to work early. Yeah, I didn't get up at 4 in the morning, so I'm going to work early either. Well, that's my routine. I get up at 4, go to the club, swim. And, and, I'm on the road. You know, and before traffic, I'm in the city before traffic starts. And Chris, so who were you calling an overachiever? <laughs> Trust me, I've had a slacker summer. I, my, my doctor and I have had a long conversation about my weight right now. Really? Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, I yeah, okay. and I, I want to brag, I've been sober since February 17, 2017. Congrats. Hey, congratulations. And uh, June 13 of 2016, I was 222 pounds. Now I'm 145. Much props, much props. Indeed. Hey, um. Big Ty says, I make knives. Submerging a blade in dirty water is sacrilege. <laughs> and, and and he says, uh, 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 hell yeah, congrats on, on sobriety. That's amazing, friends. Congrats. Uh, I'm on the nice dirty y'all. I can throw it in the sink, too, so I, I, I can't count. <laughs> yeah. I'm working on my three chip, my three-year chip. You want to print me one? Send it to me. <laughs> what's the, what's the three year chip for my sobriety? Okay, well we can we can, no, we can. that would be two thousand twenty before I can oh. earn it. Yeah, but you think about it this way, you're almost there. Yeah. I mean, what's that? Another eight months, six months? Uh, hello. Yeah. Like, no, I don't know. Like, put this way, you're closer to that than what, you were to start. What is it? Is it something? <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Pardon me. Is it, it is yeah. Is it is it something like this? I don't know. I don't know if you can see it if it's coming up or. I guess not. I got. I got to actually do that because it won't highlight me. Is it something like this? A chip like that or like. I don't. I don't. I guess I don't know. We'll we'll have to talk about it. Uh, the reason why I decided to become sober is because I was a codependent with my husband. And probably a co enabler at the same time. I wouldn't really say I was drinking just to be drinking, I was drinking to deal with his drinking. Yeah. And he's been sober since the, since the day I've been sober too. And, and it becomes a vicious circle, doesn't it? So, and, and, the, and if <clears throat> I were 
say out at a party or something and decided to have a drink and can come by and say kiss me and then he'd get a whiff of it and he'd be he'd be toast that's the reason why I stay away from it is because of him well congrats pick die says one day at a time and the years will pass and they do they do and I I don't I don't miss the one thing that comes with drinking I don't the rocks in the stomach in the morning. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't miss that at all. Yeah, I have. I have not drank in a while. I might have a beer or or a drink or two drinks, but the days of the days of the uh, the four and a half keg. I'm sorry, four and a half case parties are, are over. But I'll have a beer now and then, or a drink it, now it, and then. It's not. It's not worth it to me to wake up with a hangover. Yeah, I, I guess I guess it's just no. I agree. It hurts more the older I get and stuff. Um, it, it's just yeah. But yeah, if there, I think, but if I think me quitting drinking helped me lose the weight. But if there is a dependency oh, that's, issue, that's or, a yeah, oh well, yeah, definitely. But it wasn't beer that I was drinking. I was drinking Bacardi Limon. Ah, I drank. And see, I drank uh, half a two liter to almost the whole bottle. Yeah. That 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 just yeah that 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 hurts the next day. And definitely, that's yep. go to the hospital. You got alcohol toxemia. Yep. It's not poisoning by then. It's toxemia. Mm-hmm. Oh nice. And that ain't no fun to have to deal with that for the next month because that's about how long it takes you to get over that hangover. I bet. <laughs> so, and you know what? I don't miss it. And then, I, could, I could sit back okay. and sip on my Mr. Pib and watch everybody else oh. act stupid and get entertained by and, that. And that's a plus, too, actually. And I could be the designated driver making sure all them drunk well, there you go. they're there getting you. right home. Now, some, places, that person. <laughs> some places even give you like, oh, here, you're a designated driver here. Here's a, here's a complimentary, you it, know, 7-Up. Is, is a pizza, yeah. Something yeah. Like that, or yeah. something, yeah. And then you get a nice little stamp on your on your hand with a DD on it. Yep. Yep. I live by the the theory that is, my grandmother told me a long time ago. The first time you have to miss a day's work because you were drinking the night before. Now you have a problem. Right. I've never had that problem. I've never missed a day's work. He, he goes to, he goes to work day. drunk. No, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> well, you know, I'm you, totally kidding. Come on, okay. You want to get semantics? Semantics. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, she was right, and I've lived by that. So yeah. Um, yeah I, I, I'm always, I'm always, I did go to many <coughs> bars when I was way back younger, about 23, because I was pregnant while I was turning 21. I had to wait. But I, I did go a few, to a few bars, but nah, it was really scary getting home. Even though the person was sober, it just was scary because I was drunk. Yeah. We were going down the road, and it was freaking me oh, out. Oh, definitely, definitely. And then oh, that's yeah. when I decided, hey, if I'm going to drink, I'm just going to stay at home. Now, we've, we've got routines here. If I'm going to go, like, use St. Patrick's Day as an example, I go in town with my buddies, and when I'm ready to call it a day, call my wife up. She comes, picks yeah. my drunken ass up, yeah. takes me home. So. And, and she doesn't drink. Am I mm-hmm. correct? No, nah, she had to quit for uh, medical reasons. Yeah. And, I remember and, you mentioned that. Yeah. She was taking doesn't agree with alcohol. Right, so right. And, and that's in many cases, quit. yeah. So, uh, yeah, so it worked out well for me. So. But, um, no, it, and even then, you got to keep in mind, you don't take advantage of that. Right, right. Uh, you remember that, hey, she'd probably like to be sitting there with you. So you don't really plan, hey, I'm going to get smockered. Every time we go out, yep. no, you don't do those things. Well, yeah. So, yeah. so you keep it in mind. And, Spoken well, uh, and I sorry. cannot believe a man just said that. What? What you just said, I am just dumbfounded that a man actually said that. Well, you know the wrong men then, because I always put her first. Oh, my goodness. I don't make a decision unless we confer first. So. Man, that was 
Well, sorry. <laughs> you mean the wrong guys there. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> well, we're, I mean, we're not in Greece. So. Now, now, don't hate me, but uh, look at where I'm at, right? We're okay. still, we're still, I want to say 75% of the males here are still Neanderthals. That's what scares me about possibly moving south someday. <laughs> I'm probably getting my hey, ass kicked hey, 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 if you come down here, you set an example. Well, I, my in-laws live in Tennessee, as I always tell them that I'm coming down to civilize you people. Yeah, there you go, Chris. That goes over real well at family gatherings. <laughs> Y'all remember the old cartoon where the guy's grabbing her by the hair and drug, dragging her with his club on his shoulder? Sadly, yes, I do. Yeah. Hey, uh, Pictai says, shh, you're not supposed to say it out loud. Just kidding, <laughs> man. Uh, the same way the uh, old lady comes first always. Absolutely. So. Thank you. Know, tonight was, I was going to bail earlier. We're going to hang out in the patio with a fire. And, yeah, Chris, you know, what happened? And, and just catch up and talk because I've been out in the shop all day. But it started raining and she goes, if you oh, that's right. have to stay out. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You know what? I would have got two umbrellas and went out there and sat anyway. No, nope. she's in the house doing her hobbies. She was, if you're hanging out now, just hang out out there. We're good. Don't worry about it. We'll do it tomorrow. Oh, uh, that would have made it even more to me. Yeah. Say the heck with the rain and still do it anyway. No, nah, we have a good relationship. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. So, um, <laughs> I would, I, love exactly it. I would love it if my husband would make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Take me well, out to the front that? yard. You want to do that, to do that for dinner tonight? <laughs> take me out to the front yard, sit me in the grass, have a sign out there, don't kind of kitty corner from us saying, Honk, I love my wife, and feed me my sandwich at the same time. There you go. How long does that take to do? Five or ten seconds. Well, I can't fix him. I'm sorry. So, my powers are many, but they're limited. <laughs> he does have superpowers, by the way, friends. It's, it's the little bitty things that impress a woman better than. Oh boy, you bought a hundred thousand dollar necklace. I I got the rare, the rare one who doesn't want expensive gifts, just wants people home. I just want I just want yarn and wood and a few tools. That's it. Hey, I, I hear a song. Give me yarn. Lots of yarn. Well, you you probably like my wife. I bought her a nail gun for her birthday one year. Oh boy. By the way, we were also renovating the house and we needed a nail gun, so Yeah. Yeah, that, that, so that, that's convenient. We won't do by hand. And she probably said, give me a nail gun for my birthday. Sold. <laughs> hey, Chris, Pigtie says the one who dies with the most tools wins. What? Uh, does it matter the size of the tools? Can it be the size of a crochet hook? Sure. As long as you have multiples. <laughs> that's a tool. And, I, and yeah. I'm so crazy that when I get done doing my crocheting or whatever, everything gets wiped down with alcohol because I'm trying to treat myself nicely. Yeah, we have a handyman that works in our house. Basically, he does projects I don't want to do. Um, and he does that. <laughs> he spends more time doing his tools and equipment. Well, I swear that he does actually work. In that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, but that cleaning his tools and equipment. Don't make that tool, that tool last longer. Yeah, but don't do it when I'm paying you, not when you're on the clock. <laughs> Take your tools and and wash them. That actually is wrong with what he's doing. That is his. I'm I'm being facetious to a bit. No, no, no. I, I, I know. I love I'm the being... guy. He does fantastic work. So. Yeah, but still, you know. He should be doing that on his time because that's. No, like, I know that, but the, that's it's, like, it's not that's completely. Like, Right He's not completely right spending an hour washing his tools. I'm, it's, I'm, as he puts them away, he wipes them down. So, And I can respect that because I, even though I have a sloppy shop behind me right now, I do wipe my tools down and put them away properly. Well, Sometimes. the thing about putting your, putting your dirty tools in your truck is going to do what to your truck? Oh, my I'll truck know. is a tool. 
my truck is a tool. It works for me. I don't work for it. Oh. So I take care of it mechanically. Mm -hmm. She's sound bumper to bumper, but I don't work for the truck. It works for me. So in fact, it's gonna go in the shop soon. Well, so, I wanna I wanna give a shout out, and I don't know exactly what his username is, but for TJ, TJ Crazy. How come is this crazy cow? I thought it was crazy crow. But anyway, TJ, welcome if you're out there. Um, that, must, that must be a Twitter guy. Well, actually, he's from uh, Ark Survival. He's one of my tribe mates and uh, just started playing on the server that we're playing now. But we've played on another server in the in the past. And really good guy. And, and hopefully he'll bring Violet over. Another player. The more, the merrier, you know. <laughs> what do you think, Chris? Are you out of beer? Oh, I'm, I'm ready to call it. I thought I was just hanging out because you guys are so I, I am too. Friends, yeah. thank you for showing up. Um, that was that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, and, uh, you know, you got well, to meet some nice to meet all y'all. Some of my friends. Nice people to be so accepting of my crazy accent. Crazy accent? What was that? I didn't understand. What you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm from Boston. We speak the King's English, and half the country doesn't understand us. Have, have a great night, Pig Tie. Do y'all do, do y'all have sausage up there? <laughs> what? Sausage. 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 That's, that's, no, it's sausage. Oh, that's Jersey. Never mind. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that's Jersey. Yeah, I knew you were going there. <laughs> okay, Chris, you wanna, you wanna, uh, uh, I was gonna say sing us out, but that's not really right. But anyway, yeah. good night. I say you don't have to go home. You can't stay here. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs> Adios. Bye. Tell them, tell them to go. Tell them to go. Bye, guys. Remember, no matter what you do, do it don't just for fun. Don't go home if you can't stay here. Now get the hell out. Always tell the wicked truths. Just have fun. That works too.